ve Resulü Efendimiz Hazir Hazretleri'nin ervahı şeriflerine Bilimiz Bilal-i Habeşi radiyallahu anh Efendimiz ve Allah husus bu caminin bayinesi ve bugüne kadar bu caminin güzeli han etmiş İmam Muazzin kayımlarının ve kafe ehli iman ervahı için sahibi bu seyif şeyhalbı kıyım kıbesi Rabbani için Allah rızası için el Fatiha Euzubillahimineşşeytanirracim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى سيدنا محمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر Allah ilaha illallah Eşhedü en la ilaha illallah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Eşhedü enne Muhammeden Resulullah Hayya ala salam Hayya ala salam Hayya ala al-falam Hayya ala al-falam Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Elhamdülillah, Umaral Mu'minin, Hazreti Ebu Bakr ve Usman ve Ali ve Allah Bakr sahabat tabi'in rüdvan Allah Ta'ala aleyhim ecma'in. Ya yuhal mu'minul hazirun, netakun Allah Ta'ala ve atifu inna lillahi ma'allazî netakun allazî nehum muhsinun. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil Alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala eşrafil anbiyayim mursalin, Seyyidina Mevlana Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. All praises are due to Allah, the Lord of the universes. All praises are due to Allah, who is the creator of the heavens and the earth and all that is between them. All praises are due to Allah, who has created the sun, the moon and the stars and set them into their own orbits. All praises are due to Allah, who has created mankind in Ahsani Takwim. All praises are due to Allah, who has sent his most beloved as the mercy to the universes. And may all peace and blessings be upon the one who was a prophet when Adam was between water and clay. May all peace and blessings be upon the one for whose sake the universes were created. May all peace and blessings be upon the one whose name is written next to the name of Allah on the arsh. May all peace and blessings be upon Sayyidina Muhammad wasalam, and upon his noble family and blessed companions, especially upon the Khulafai Rashidin, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, Hazrat Umar Farooq, Hazrat Usman Al Ghani, and Hazrat Al Murtaza and all those who follow them until the last day. Ya Yuhal Mu'minun, O believers, welcome to you, Juma Mubarak. Welcome to you on the last Juma of the month of Juma Dil Ahir. Welcome to you as we are at the threshold of the holiest days and holiest nights that are about to enter on us. Welcome to you as we are preparing on this Sunday night, inshallah, to welcome Rajab Shahrullah. O believers, what is this holy month that is about to enter upon us? Ghazul Azam Shah Rukhari Gilani is narrating a hadith saying to us that somebody asked, Ya Rasulullah, why do you call Rajab as the month of Allah? And the Holy Prophet replied saying, I call it Allah's month because it is specifically associated with forgiveness. I call it Allah's month because it is specifically associated with forgiveness. Because in it, 
the shedding of blood is brought to a stop. Because in it, Allah relents toward his prophets. Because in it, he rescues his saints from the hands of their enemies. And because anyone who fasts during this month becomes entitled to receive three things from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The first and the second of these are forgiveness for all the sins yet previously committed and impregnable virtue for the remainder of his life. As for the third, he will be safe from thirst on the day of judgment. A weak old man then stood up and said, Ya Rasulullah, I am very weak and I cannot fast the whole month. The Holy Prophet said, Fast during the first day of the month and during the day that comes in the middle of it and also during the very last day of the month for then you will be given the same reward as someone who has fasted throughout the whole of the month since one good deed is equal in value to ten of the same kind. It is most important, however, that none of you should neglect the first Friday in Rajab because it is the night that the angels call the night of wishes, the night of the granting of wishes, Laylatul Ragaib. This is because by the time the first third of the night has passed, there will not be a single angel still around in the heavens or in any region of the earth except for one. They will all be gathered together in the Kaaba and the area immediately surrounding it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will condescend to notice that they have assembled there and he will say, my angels, ask me for whatever you wish. The response to this will be, Ya Rabbi, the request we wish to make is that you grant forgiveness to those who faithfully keep the fast in Rajab. After which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell them, For that I have already done. We are now entering into these most holy days and nights. And the night that the Holy Prophet is describing in the Hadith al Sharif, the night of Ragaib, that night is going to be happening in a few days, inshallah. Rahman. In this 21st century, so many Muslims have completely lost their way. And they've completely lost the tradition. They say, we have never heard of this ragaib. We have never heard of a night of wishes. So it must be false. It must be bidat. It must be kufr. It must be shirk. They think that because they do not know about something, then it must not exist. This is such a high form of arrogance and ignorance. As the Holy Prophet is saying, someone who has even a mustard seed of arrogance in his heart will not enter to paradise. What is this night of Ragai? What are we remembering and commemorating in this night? We are commemorating the night when the light of the Holy Prophet والسلام, was passed from his father, Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abdul Muttalib, to his mother, Hazrat Amina bint Wahab. Why is this important? Because the whole of the universes, the whole of creation, all of history, its purpose and its aim was for this light to be brought forth. Hazrat Jabir bin Abdullah once asked the Holy Prophet, والسلام, Ya Rasulullah, may my father and my mother be sacrificed for you. Tell me of the first thing that Allah created before all things. And the Holy Prophet والسلام, replied, Ya Jabir, the first thing Allah created was the light of your Prophet from his light. And that light remained in the middle of his power for as long as he wished. And there was not at that time a tablet or a pen or a paradise or a fire or an angel or a heaven or an earth. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wished to create creation, He divided that light into four parts. And from the first, He made the pen. From the second, the tablet. From the third, the throne. Then He divided the fourth into four parts. And there is one narration saying that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Sayyidina Adam alayhi salam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspired him to say, Ya Rabbi, 
Why did you give me the nickname Abu Muhammad, the father of Muhammad? Allah replied, Ya Adam, raise your head. He raised his head and saw the light of Sayyidina Muhammad in the canopy of the throne. Adam then asked, Ya Rabbi, what is this light? Allah replied, this is the light of a prophet from your lineage. His name in the heavens is Ahmad and on earth it is Muhammad If it were not for him, I would not have created you, nor the heavens, nor the earth. And so this light of the Holy Prophet was being protected and guarded throughout time by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, was being passed through the best of people. As Mawlana Abdul Rahman Jami, Qadazullah Sir is saying, his light was seen on the forehead of Adam. Therefore the angels prostrated their heads. In the dangers of the flood, Nuh salam received his help in his tiny ship. His perfume of goodness reached Ibrahim salam, and from Nimrud's wood bloomed his rose. Yusuf was just a servant worth 17 dirhams in the palace of grace. His face illuminated Musa's fire. His lips taught Isa how to resurrect the dead. And that light came to Hazrat Abdullah ibn Abu Muttalib, the father of the Holy Prophet والسلام, and he became engaged to the Holy Prophet's mother, Hazrat Amina. While Hazrat Abdullah was walking to his wedding, a Jewish woman saw the light of the Holy Prophet والسلام, beaming from him and she said to him, I will give you a hundred camels if you come with me now. And Hazrat Abdullah replied to her in a poem saying, Regarding haram, death is better. And I don't see any halal in sight. And about what you are asking for, an honorable one must protect his honor and religion. And then Hazrat Abdullah went with his father to meet the father of Hazrat Amina, and they became married. And in that holy marriage, the Holy Prophet ﷺ was conceived and his light was passed to Hazrat Amina. The next day when Hazrat Abdullah was going back home, he saw the Jewish woman again, but she ignored him. He asked, why don't you offer me what you offered before? She replied, the light that you were carrying yesterday has left you. Therefore, I have no need of you today. I was hoping to have that light in me, but Allah willed it to be put somewhere else. And it is narrated that when the Holy Prophet والسلام, was conceived in his mother's womb on a Friday night during the month of Rajab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Ridwan, the keeper of paradises, to open the highest paradise. A caller announced in the heavens and earth that the concealed light which would form the guiding Prophet والسلام, would settle on that very night in his mother's womb where his conception would be completed. It was also revealed that he would come out as a bearer of glad tidings and as a warner. O believers, this is what we are celebrating in that Ragaib night. We are celebrating the night in which the light of the most beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a light that had been preserved and protected from all of the generations from Adam alayhi salam until Hazrat Abdullah was manifested and brought into this dunya. We are celebrating the coming of the master of the universes into this dunya. If others don't want to celebrate, leave them. Just as the prophets and the angels and the awliya celebrate this night, inshallah Rahman, we will celebrate this night. And we are only knowing this night. We are only celebrating and commemorating these holy days and holy nights because we have been taught by our Shaykh, Sahib al Sayyid, Shaykh Abdul Karib Rabbani. As he is teaching us about Rajab and Ragaib, saying, So we have just entered one of the holiest months, month of Allah, Jalla subhanahu wa ta'ala, Shahrullah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, This month is for me. Show more better respect to this month. You will see my favors is reaching to you. <coughs> month of Rajab and the month and the first Juma night, Ragaib night. 
Ragaib night. Ragaib is Allah Jalla Wa'ala giving endless blessings to his servants. Endless mercy, endless forgiveness is coming in the night like this. If you have misused the whole year, maybe, this world is taking people hostage and there is some night in Islam that is very holy, that's accepted through the signs the Holy Prophet and the Awliya Allah is showing. Of course, the square-head Wahhabis, they're not accepting any holy nights because they think that they are very holy themselves. They are bounding to hellfire, but they are saying, we are holy ones. Never mind. But this night is very holy. Holy Prophet والسلام, is saying, Evli Allah is keeping it holy. We must keep it holy. We must keep showing differences. We should not keep it like other nights because it is a Friday night, it's holy. Because it's Ragaib, there's another holiness coming. Double holiness coming. Angels giving name to this night, Ragaib. And in a night like this, the mercy and the rahmat doors of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is open endlessly. Oh believers, this is for me and for you. And for those who want to listen. We must make intention to be ready, to be awake, and to sincerely keep these holy days and holy nights we are entering into with the proper respect. Wamin Allah Tafiq. لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد لله على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد لله على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك والحمد لله على كل شيء قدير لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك كنت من الظالمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك كنت من الظالمين سبحان قدوس نبينا رب الملائكة وارو سبحان قدوس نبينا رب الملائكة وارو سبحان قدوس نبينا رب الملائكة وارو إن دين عند الله الإسلام قام الصلاة Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar,